Doctors say many students, especially teenagers, aren't getting enough sleep and it's hurting them both medically and academically. As Chelsea Snyder explains, that's a convincing argument for some parents in East Lansing. It actually can affect, um, you know, their ability to retain new information. It can affect their overall health as far as, you know, diet. Um, it leads to can lead to obesity. It can lead to the ability inability to re regulate their own emotions. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends middle school and high schools to start no earlier than 8:30 a.m. to fight chronic lack of sleep in adolescents. With teenagers having more extracurricular activities and added responsibility, their bedtimes are being pushed back, causing them to get less sleep. So they're essentially not getting the required eight hours of sleep per night, and that's affecting them negatively. More than 1,500 people took the survey between November 9th and November 21st. When asked about the ideal start time for high school students, 25% said 8.45 a.m., while 17% said to keep it the same at 7.45. The results for middle school and elementary school also came back higher for an 845 start, given the mental and physical impact of chronic fatigue. You might be a little more irritable, a little less ability to cope with changes or uh, extreme pressures throughout your day if you're fatigued. Doctors say this is something worth looking into. And that was Chelsea Snyder reporting. A later start time would mean a later dismissal too. Pushing back the first class to 845 would mean students would be in school until 345. I'll let you know if he's Lansing changes its school times.